no, 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 go on. Just, just ca capture Hannah fiddling about the place. Go on. Have you, have you managed to turn up a knob? Yes, to, I did. Can you hear yourself better? I think so. Oh, God. And you've got your broadcast voice on, have you? <laughs> yes. I practice. And stop breathing on the microphone. So I can't do anything You can. Right. You can just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys and girls, let's start the podcast. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to And That's Why We're Not Together, starring David Max Savage and Hannah Andrews. Are you not going to do your little thing? <laughs> this is Christ, Thank you, welcome to And That's Why We're Not Together. And Gee. I've, and I've got new ring. Yeah, speak into the king microphone. Well, I've got the ring. There's one ring and there's another ring. And this other ring, it's got another function that it rings whenever I want to draw attention. Yeah, that's good. That's funny. I'd love to mm. be able to talk about something now, but I don't think I'll be able to talk about it till January. Anyway, but the point is, um, and thank you. Joining uh, me are my two princes. Someday this kingdom will be yours. Prince Daniel and Prince Jack. Okay. Welcome. Um, oh, yeah, it's funny. We were, Jack was just saying before we started that he was watching. What, what was the Harry Potter uh, film you were watching? The second installment known as The Chamber of Secrets. And uh, then it reminded me and Hannah of uh, Daniel when he was, how old was he? When, when he went to a Harry Potter camp in Poland. Oh, he was about nine or so, ten. Yeah, so, so that was his first camp. First camp, so he went. He went to this little, uh, th this place, and and what was it like, Anna? It was a little. It was a um, a little castle, was it in Poland somewhere? Uh, yeah, he stayed in the castle. Like he went three times, and wow. each time he stayed in a different castle in Poland. And the last time he went, he went to a castle in the south of Poland. I don't remember the um, the place. And how long did he stay for? Three weeks, I think. And so, how many kids were there? Maybe fifty or sixty kids, or forty? Uh, or? Not. Even and I think they were all and they divided them up into Gryffindor and uh, yeah and the way they were uh, also you know um, directed to different um good memories Jack Daniel good memories yes yeah I, I had a good time yeah it was fun like as far as I can remember I mean I mean yeah like it was one of the probably first times away away from home so I was a little sometimes confused but then I got used to <laughs> why, it why were you why were you confused I don't know it's just like you he know, was missing home. I don't know. You just get used to. Oh, I see what you mean. At that age, you're so young, and then you think, oh, "Is this my life now, or something?" Yeah. No, I don't know. I just. Yeah, yeah. No, he's yeah. having a good time, and then there are moments when he's just like, "Oh, I want my mommy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just passes because he has a good time. Jeez, I remember being young, and like I think I was in France when I was. Uh, th that microphone made a thud. I was in France, you know, like around Daniel's, you know, nine or ten, and you talk to your mom on the phone. And there was such you, just this big ball of pain, and you, you know, just yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I I had it as well. I went, I wanted so desperately to go on holidays with other kids to a camp, mm. and my mom didn't let me for a long time. So finally, she let me go, and I had a great time. But in the evening, I really felt like I was missing home, and I was. It, it was like literally this bowl of yeah, pain yeah, inside yeah, yeah. me yeah. and but i wouldn't dare to tell her because i so desperately wanted to be away and doing something else so i never told her it's funny because when when you know uh when there's when there's tension in the household and when parents are arguing um c kids you know very very young kids like you know five six seven eight nine and and they do, obviously they can't fix what's whatever is happening to mom and dad so they see mom who they love, dad who they love in pain. So children just take it on board. They just absorb it. They just eat the pain mm. and carry it on into their childhood where they try to right the wrongs perpetrated against them as adults. See how funny I am? See how articulate I am? Uh, yeah, you can't say the word. Probably. Yeah, but I am articulate. And uh, But recently I was in a situation where I wasn't and I can't talk about it. Okay. So that's not good for us, is it? Like we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's good. Continue not but to know. But what what I was trying, what I want to say that 
what we decide as children. So I've seen my dad crying coming home and then my mom said to him something really bad and he cried. And I was about what a pussy. seven and or six. Man well, don't cry. No, he didn't. It was the only time I saw him crying. So and then What I a did, little Mary Ann. Okay. And come then on. Sorry, I decided sorry. I never want to do what they do. So I decided I never want to get married. Yeah. And how old were you when you got married? You should have listened. I know. And then I've forgotten or what? <laughs> but I'm divorced. So. And you and got married while you were pregnant. Yes. With uh, Daniel. Yeah. and I, uh, We got married in Elblong. In Elblong. And I was seven months pregnant and I had an orange dress and a black blouse and pearls and I, and I looked look, look blowing. Yeah. And I drove from, uh, was it Munich with a guy called, what was his name? Uh, 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 this German guy. And he was. What's uh, it, what was his name? What was his name? Uh, I can't remember Robert? his name. No. No. Uh, uh, and he, he played trumpet at the wedding. Yeah. He and he played. drove me all the way from Germany to Because he Elbron. fancied me. <laughs> I swear to God, he did. And he's taken a lot of pictures <laughs> of us. <laughs> so you should. Jesus Christ, this dri so, my uh, phone is driving what, me bonkers. Why? Why Just can you s not speak in a way where you're spluttering like an old Ford truck? No, I'll just do it with the passion. Yeah, but, but you have to speak into the... Hannah, do you understand the concept of a microphone? You're, you're like this. You're like, you're, you're like some eight-year-old woman in the... Is this on? That, th this no, is, I'm not you saying... See that? I just don't... See that? That's I designed know, for your but voice. but it doesn't need to be just beside my mouth. Yeah, well, yeah but it's it can be... It's just there, yeah. because otherwise I'm going... Like, <laughs> my jewellery... <laughs> Okay. I'll anyway, what, Martin. Martin. That's, that's right. That's true. So Martin drove. He was a nice guy. Uh, Lovely no, guy. Wurzburg. Yes. He drove me from Wurzburg all the way from Wurzburg to Elblong in Poland, and uh, it's nice to see the do. It's nice to see the Germans doing something nice for the Polish for a change. Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> what? Was, it was. It uh, was 1993. 1993 was it? Yeah. And he drove and what me. What was the date? It was July. And I think me and Hannah had an argument or something, Gdansk, and, and he was in bits about it and he was crying. Yes. We were having an he, argument. Because he also loved me. Oh, Christ. Here yes, we go. Yes, he did. He fancied me. He wanted to marry me. You know, I, I, as you're saying that, I just see you in, in a nursing home, you know, like being wheeled to the <laughs> oh, toilet. shut up. Martin, Martin fancied me. All right, Hannah. Yeah, we just, we just don't try and hold it in before we get to the toilet. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that really hurts. <laughs> I'm so look how happy I am when somebody says it's really hurt. I'm not well. OK, so but we did get married. And OK, so we got married in Elblong in a registry office. And Mama and Dada, my, 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 is that is that peaking? Is that does that sound OK? Sorry. My mother and father came over from Ireland to the wedding. Have we talked about this before? I'm not sure. OK, <clears throat> we did. say. So anyway, something. we got married in a registry office and it was very much like, do you take this? You know, it was being tra it was in Polish and it was being translated. So he was going like, do you take this woman for the rest of your life to, you know, be with and never, you know, look at any, you know, it was like a, it felt a bit like um, a sentence being handed down from a judge. But I remember my father said he was quite emotional at the, at the because it is, it is, it is quite something. It is quite beautiful yeah. to make a vow in front of your mom, your dad, all your relatives, relations, and saying that we're going to make a go of this human thing together. That journey. That journey. Yeah, it's just declaring love. Mm. But I'm not sure. Did you love me at that time? Oh yeah, I did. Of course I did. Of course I did, my dear. But oh. I love you more now, if that's possible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I was talking to I was talking to this uh, girl last night and she's a um, therapist and she was saying, and yeah, and so are, are you and you and Hannah? And I said, yeah, me and Hannah, I, th I feel we're closer now than we were when we were married. And she's going like. Do you want to get back with her? And I said, no, I don't like what we have is is good because we're not together. Mm -hmm. And then I said, sometimes, I'll, you know, I give her a little cuddle now and again. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then she goes. I think you're still going out with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not true. <laughs> look at that. Look. 
what, what are you bored? You guys are bo you guys are bored. Is is sorry? Can I just say, is there something wrong with my microphone? Does it sound okay, guys? Yeah. So, sounds okay. So, sounds good. Okay. Why there was no uh, effects? Well, sorry? Jack, what? were you asleep? For what? For, you know, doing some effects. You have to just jump in. Uh, by the way, sound. can I just say, yeah, I think maybe we're, we you are recording this at 8 p.m. at night. And I think a little pe people are a bit tired. Yeah, and by the way, some people on Instagram, I have dyed my beard. Um, uh, and you have makeup now. So David uh, requested makeup from now on. So <laughs> he's going to look uh, a bit more handsome. Well, you know, we're just experimenting, folks. And, you know, I am quite fluid. Um, <laughs> and I'm leaking. That's what happens <laughs> when you get older. You, yeah. you start to leak it. You start to leak fluid. But anyway, so I've got you a bit start of... start to leak all the time. I've got a bit, I've got a bit of make, a makeup on. But, you know, like, you, 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 you know okay. what I mean? And by you the way, really being like older is like a, a crime against humanity. I see the way young people look at me. They're disgusted by me. It's, it's ages. I don't like it. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to, you know. So anyway, that's nice. Daniel, and and he did kind of look like Daniel Radcliffe, who is not a good actor, who maybe he's a better actor now, but I, I never thought he was a good actor as Harry Potter. Harry Potter? You know, I always thought Daniel he was, would have been he, he was a, he, he was a t He wasn't a good actor, no. Daniel Radcliffe. Sorry, folks. Um, but uh, yeah, there was. So, I, li I like that Magic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I like that sh that one. That's a quite a good thing. Also, uh, Jack, you were talking about a very good sh TV show that you're watching at the moment. Yeah, me and Daniel are watching it. Uh, Black Sails is called. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it was made a while ago, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, yeah, 2014. Yeah, yeah it's about. Uh, That's still making lots of noise. The microphone, Daniel. Every time you pick it up, draw attention to it. There, why don't you? Oh, what what is that sound? It, it's it's it's, it's, it's loose. loose. What's what's lo what's loose? I don't know. There's something. This part, you know, where you take it off. It's loose in so the in the middle of it. I don't know. Do you want it? Do you want to, Do you want to do a quick pause and let me try and fix that? Because it's right. driving me bonkers. Okay, welcome back, folks. Daniel's got a new microphone because the uh, other microphone wasn't working. We were just talking about the fact that Daniel spent three summers in various castles around <coughs> Poland. And he had a good time and he remembers it. Yeah, and I remember picking up uh, Daniel <coughs> and he was about 14 and he was crying. Yeah, because, because he'd he made a lot of yeah, good friends. Yeah, I did it as well. When I went to the camp. Oh, Jesus. I, I really got to. I'm, I'm driving. I'm, I'm driven demented with these people. <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody to come in here and teach us all about microphone technique. Because literally, that's, you know. That's you know what, what you need to do? You need to get the fuck over it and get this podcast going. Yes. Yes. Bravo, Jack. Because in yes. your pursuit of perfection. He's like, yeah, pursuit of per 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 perfection. <laughs> We're not going to go anywhere. You need to be okay with imperfection. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's, it's a revelation. God, you are so susceptible. Like anybody who speaks with any confidence, you're like, oh, my God, yes. Sometimes bricks have to be put down before they're put up. Oh, God, that's so true. I'll no, pay 50 euro to get on. Go. should be put down. Sometimes when you wipe your arse, your finger goes through the ply. The oh, my God. And <laughs> don't, do you smell your finger? <laughs> <laughs> do you smell your finger? Do you? Um, look, uh, yeah. that's, that's one of those things where it's just everyone does like, you know, oh, yeah, so everybody does. <laughs> don't smell don't like pretend you. like you yeah, don't. Do. No, <laughs> do. I just smell my fucking just fingers. Have, oh, and then you go and wash. But you need to check. Yeah, you do need to check. It just goes through the paper. And then you're like, did they really do it? Is it really that smelly? And you just go, ah, I'm only joking. I never do that. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you do. I do. Yeah, yeah. Everybody does. Mm. And I don't wash my hands after it. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something right. Let's let's talk about fucking toilets then. This country, mm. like any pub you go into, it's just well, I suppose men they just they they start they don't know how to direct their their fucking piss. So by the time the end of the night, you you might as well be you're you're over in France trying to piss into a bowl. 
Like, like it's it, it it's so ridiculous. Okay, I lived in Tokyo. Heated toilet seats. What a revelation! It's incredible. Why can't we have heated toilet seats? We, we're sort of against ourselves in mm. Ireland and England. Like, let's let's make going to the toilet a more enjoyable experience. Heated toilet seats. Those little, you know, this little thing that comes out and cleans your arse. Yeah, yeah, like a little thing, and then there's like shoots a up. fountain. Yeah, yeah, fountain. Shoots. It's so, it's so civilized, Tokyo in Japan, you know. And then you can pre- play some noise because you don't want to hear yourself uh, spluttering. Music? And farting. No. You Is don't there anything wanna, worse than sitting in, sitting in, a, standing in a so, toilet? Some GAA player walks in, opens the booth, and just starts shitting like a fucking maniac, just like. A <laughs> and then he comes out. How's it going? Fuck off. And the smell, oh, that's the worst. I'm not, sh- I'm not sure if they figure it out in Japan. The smell, there's nothing against the smell. But I, I would love to get one of those Japanese toilets with a heated uh, toilet seat. But also, you know what they have? They have like a little plastic around. So everybody, when you get into the cubicle, you just press the button and the plastic goes round. So you've got like a fresh. Yeah. So you can sit on it. Yes. Which is so important for women. Oh, God. Well, I think uh, South Park were making a joke about Japanese toilets that the toilet toilet paper industry is completely reliant on, like, you know, us not having Japanese toilets because Japanese toilets have water. Oh, and right, stuff. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah have yeah. what? You know, Japanese toilets, you know, they can squ- squirt water and you don't, oh, yeah. you don't technically don't need toilet paper. And there's all kinds of... Yeah, uh, you have to to- dry uh, your bottle. It's, yeah, it's, it's only in Western countries that you use dry toilet paper, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well. also, the, the stuff that toilet paper is treated with, you're wiping that on your anus horribles. <laughs> and, mm. uh, you know... Yeah, you, you know. have to just always buy a pure toilet paper without any additives and organic so you don't but we should all be we should skin. all be shitting in holes in the ground you know yes that would be much way. better for your bowel system get in get out yeah you know you don't you, you're not reading a newspaper <clears throat> when you're crouching down on the on the yeah toilet. and also crouching down helps your digestion that's why the western world well yeah so if, you, if you if you digestion. dig if you dig a hole for long for uh, deep enough it's probably quite a good you know like say you dug a hole that was 100 meters deep and take a shite in a big but the problem is you come back pissed and you'd fall into the hole and drown in your own shite well, you deserve that if you pissed oh that's terrible okay listen there's uh, a did you ever hear about that story of the English king or something and he got killed by uh, the Vikings because they used to have these outdoor troughs like public like uh, you know multiple people use it and it'd be a little wooden table kind of thing that you sit on a little circle and it would just shit down into this shit catchment and the viking was hiding in the shit catchment and the guy sat down and he stabbed him up the hole oh oh <laughs> yeah it's funny like like for 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 hundreds of years human humans just l- lived in places that were just really badly there was no you know there was no sewage or whatever mm. you would have thought like you know did they ever say listen are you not tired of just smelling shit all the time but That's i good. think they had well the, yeah no the romans in, the, rome. in rome yeah, yeah. Sh- uh, going to the toilet in the roman times was a uh, sociable uh yes. time you know like there'd be a, a square and they would all sit like a kind of a, a, a in a quadrangle a, yeah like a, tr- a dressing room you know like mm. a changing room you know and they'd all there'd be like it's just a little bucket with a sponge on a stick and they'd all use the same <laughs> stick <laughs> But I think it's kind of nice, you know. You all kind of wake up, you go to the yeah. public bathhouse or whatever, what and everyone's just ta- they're just it's, taking it's, their it's funny their the, shite, the Catholics know? are so disgusted by their own bodily fluids and their bodies mm. and everything, as opposed to the Danish. Remember the Danish? You'd go, you go yeah, up. You remember yeah. we, we, where did we go up to? Roskilde? Ros- no, we went up to that place. Remember, and the, the, uh, some beach, and they'd all be walking around naked. What, oh yeah, yeah, that? Germans. I don't know. I don't remember the beach. What I remember. It was like I went to the supermarket and like it's like coming from Ireland, right? And you'd just be out there and just girls walking around with lovely big pair of tits. But <laughs> I I remember I went to a supermarket in Denmark and there was a hidden camera. The guy was completely naked. It was full of Danish people. Mm. Nobody pay attention. I was the only one who just tried I I wasn't shocked, but I was I just tried to crack a joke or something. 
that I know. Isn't isn't, it, isn't isn't that you know what a cool place? Mm. It's so it's so good that kind of thing. Yeah, but in yeah, Ireland, like ideal, in, the, you, you know, in Ireland, like you call good, the guards. Yeah. There's a man. He's got no. Although, ha- having said that, like if you walked into a house, and there's a man standing there naked, I mean that's scary. Mm. You know, like obviously who you didn't know. Yeah. You know, you know, you're in. You, you, I'd say you're in trouble. I've seen that done in movies sometimes, where you you know you just you walk into a house, you turn on the light, and it's just this guy. Like. So yeah, the big news is that fucking Ryan Toberty. Oh yeah, he's it's his last. Uh, the big news, his last show, and and uh, who's taken over? Patrick Kilty. Yeah. Who is he? <laughs> Do we know him? Well, you know, uh, actually, Patrick Keelty's production company was is or was called Green Ink. And mm. that production company uh, gave me my first uh, pilot for a TV show, which was called Head Records. Mm. And Head Records was a precursor to uh, the Savage Eye. Yeah. And I learned a lot yeah. from doing that show. And, uh, and I made a lot of mistakes. And uh, but it was Patrick Keelty's production company. Mm. So I have mm. to be grateful to Patrick Keelty. Now he is taking over the Late Late Show. I think it would be quite funny if uh, I was on the Late Late Show after h- how many years of not doing it because of my my, my, my cousin Ryan Tuberty. 14. Anyway, I hope they do uh, change the format around. I hope so too as well. Because it's a very dead format. I saw that... Uh, interview with Ryan Tuberty and what was his name that uh, Michael Bublé oh my god is the most cringing David okay. wakes up it's funny you just had chocolate and it actually you crashed you just lost the interest you fat bastard yeah. you yeah. fat bastard yeah. there's a lot of breathing into microphones here well, I don't like, like you it. know like you breathing yourself Look um, at you. I'm not feeling that. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, yes, what what is quite funny are some of the comments on the YouTube channel, and that's why we're not together. So, Jack and Daniel, would you read out some of uh, your favorite comments that you've read uh, as regards to what people think about this podcast? Okay. What's that sound? What's that sound? Does somebody have their phone on? <laughs> Whose phone is that? That's the second time it's gone off. Does somebody have their phone on? <laughs> it's your it's it's your job, like it's your fucking job. It's a fucking job. Okay. David, stop okay. torturing us. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I just are you ready to do this? My favorite one <clears> is uh, uh, R Murray. So thanks for watching R Murray, and thanks for leaving a comment. Please do leave comments, leave likes, subscribe, all that stuff. R Murray says, "Danny's my fave. I feel in 100." Growing up with narcissistic narcissistic parents <laughs> and this face. Yes, David. What does what's that face? That's the emoji he used. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> are we narcissistic parents? Uh. I do. Well, I am, but I don't think are. I don't think you are. I'm not, but maybe uh, you just uh, bring out the worst in you. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm I'm a good person. I know you're a good person. I but, chose but, you well. But maybe you just uh, sprinkle that narcissist on me Thank a little you. bit. So Thank I'm you. just reflecting it. Thank you. Because we like mirrors. Yeah, you, you, your, your beauty is, my, is, my, is me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, do you have any comment there, Jack, Daniel? Uh, here, I got the comments here. You can look through. Uh, I think that one's a good one. Yeah, the, there's one there that says, uh, haha, the boyfriend never stood a chance. Best podcast ever. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Luke. Yeah, thank you, Luke. And uh, what I want to say, actually, <laughs> if, because I've actually, I've actually dated quite a few guys. So I have. Jesus a, Christ. Uh, I've got an experience <laughs> and I can share it. So if everyone have a question, relationship question to me, please write it down or Actually, if I have a question to any of us, like can direct the question to Jack, Daniel, David, or myself. Well, I can't give relationship advice. Okay, but well, I, you, I, well, you can I say will. what not to do, isn't it? You know. Yeah, um, but uh, you know, <laughs> I've dated quite a lot of guys, and recently, 
I came to realization that my last boyfriend was a woman, actually. So he was behaving <laughs> like a woman. So it's not right for me. And but now men and women, there's no real difference. Uh, well, that's the problem. Isn't that the idea that the woke agenda? It's yeah, kind of, but it's that's the problem. That's why it didn't work between us, because he was a woman and I was going to be a man. But I am a woman Are and you I sure? want to be a woman. That's a hot topic these days, you know, that you see a lot on YouTube uh, of, sir, you know, there's a, uh, there's all these, you know, they're really painful to watch, but they, a group of guys, like there's, there's this one, I forget what it's called, but they, these two kind of alpha males or whatever, and they, they, they're successful in business and they get women on who are very promiscuous. They do only fans. They've had histories of uh, s stripping or whatever. And they have all these debates about, you know, the man's role in the relationship, the woman's role in the relationship. I, I would say about that, though, Jack, is that uh, it's down to the individual. Nobody has to live according to a set of standards. But, you know, if, if a guy wants this traditional thing, good for him. But you can't impose it on other people. So if, uh, if, if an individual who happens to be a woman wants to do the lonely fan or only fans thing uh, and strip that's her uh, of business. course of course but the the fact that it's uh become a hot topic is the interesting point it's not what, what it's is not it's not the what is the it's hot not the content of what they're saying because it's uninteresting what is the hot topic but it's Sorry. the fact of uh that you know the whole because it's all linked with the whole you know a man can be a woman or a man can be a mother or oh, whatever. In you other know. words, so there, so, so w w there are certain people who want it all. They want to be the mothers. They want to be the this. They want to be the that. They want to juggle every single aspect of no, what human experience can so. be. No, it's, it's, it's more like the, the overarching theme of the whole uh, debate, if you will, or, or whatever is the linked with, you know, uh, the identification of the personal identification whether you identify as this or that and uh it's also linked with feminism male men and women's role in society and all this thing but they these questions are being brought up so much yes and i think it's because there's not enough uh problems in the world yeah, you know because you know, we you know live something in, you know, can i it, that's so interesting actually right okay so here we go. I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm, I can't, ha I can't even follow it. Like, like here, here's the thing. If somebody says to me, if I ask, where's the shop? You go down the road, turn right. I've lost. I'm lost. Three, and and I don't. I'm very confused by it all. And um, you know, no, I can't, I can't follow it. Direction to the shop already easy because there is a shop. Yeah, I know. But what I'm trying to, to say is, I just don't. I, I just, oh, you know, you like it's, it's like you know, I'll support anyone for whatever. But anyway. But th then, then th that's right. There's a sort of microscopically kind of, you know, I identify as, you know, really, how important is? How, uh, oh, sorry, let me put it to you this way. I was watching uh, this thing, National Geographic, and this music came on that just made me remember how, how being young and just wanting to go out into the world and have adventures. <laughs> You know, climb the mountain, you know, uh, go on the seas, uh, you know, live like a hobo on trains and busk from town to town, living on your wits and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, but it's it's somehow like kids are just having li little fucking arguments about, uh, you know, no, you, you're being this and I'm being that. You know, fuck's but sake, it's guys. Not, it's Get not, up off your ass and, and go out and, it's, and live it's in not, a forest. It's not really like that, though, because what? the Internet is there and the Internet gives you a... Uh, uh, a small minority of what the of what the general consensus is the majority of people the, jo the majority of my friends and people i know who are my age you know they're scrolling through whatever in social media a lot but they don't really like engage with online right. they just like watching car crash they, yeah they, they like watching whatever podcast videos looking through news feeds but they don't really engage with the social issues you know it's more like you know, there's some kind of saying, it's probably not true, but it's it's something like 85% 80, of the content on Twitter is written by 5% of people. So right. you're getting 5% of people getting the most um, 
the most I, I think I so think people are start, I think so people are influenced by the Well, I think people well, people. yeah, I think people are starting to cotton on to the fact that mm. the people who are outraged and freaking out, they're a very small group of people. Mm. And it's not that they shouldn't have a voice, but they they shouldn't really be taken as seriously as we. we oh, uh, they're no, given too much. No, they voice. should be listened to, but they, they but you know it's too much. No, but like, what I'm saying is, they're 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 um, they're they don't they don't need to be. Um, oh, there is too much importance. Well, I th- I, th- I, th- I think I think a lot of and this is not just this kind of debate. Uh, it's 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 a lot of issues of these kind of that are not. And it sounds like uh, I'm demeaning it, but it not necessary arguments. Meaning, as in, if you were in a society and you were saying, "How are we going to feed ourselves?" That is a necessary debate because you need to nourish yourself. If you don't eat, you die. There's a lot of debates about kind of, you know, social problems. You right. Know? Uh, but these, in in my opinion, a lot of these debates stem from the fact that people can't accept the general mundaneness of life it sounds a bit dark yeah okay. but you know life is what it is you know there you don't have to make it special or different or change it put meaning onto it that it's not meant to be so people need some kind of problems to yes. to, to give meaning in their life when i think the life is just meaningful as is you know yeah. well yeah people do need adversities to find out the measure of themselves so oh, you know there's they a addicted there's a, to drama they need drama. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of um yeah, you know, mean-spirited little sort of petulant uh kids who for whatever reason uh you know, it it, it to the, those type of kids, you know, you know, jump in a canoe, go down a fucking river, you know, get a bit risky, climb a mountain. Like let's let me put it to you this way, before the Savage Eye, before I wrote this thing called the Savage Eye, which is a TV show in RTE, I was very jealous of certain comedians who had achieved success. And then once I worked really hard and made this TV show and got critical success, that all melted away, that jealousy or that uh, resentment or bitterness or Mm. um, because... um, because well, because because I'd achieved what I'd yeah, want to achieve. Yeah, they say the best revenge is your own success. Yeah, thanks to Luke for that comment. Uh, <laughs> gave us uh, that that all stemmed from haha. The boyfriend never stood a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think maybe a lot of people are discovering their individuality. Yeah, you know, like mm. they they're trying to sort of know themselves but but you know but like you can't you don't need to impose it in no you don't know no I know it's just that like that experience can be weird you know mm. like sort of delving in who am i and you know why am i here and all this. right and so that experience can be weird and probably a lot of people are confused or you know and they feel that they're not supported and they feel they're being looked down on because they're different yeah probably right yeah, yeah but okay uh, uh, yeah i uh, i i, I, I yeah, so agree with that like especially in their mm. 20s when i think actually 20s is more freaky than um a more anxi- anxious anxiety there's more anxiety than when you're uh, in puberty but listen what i'm also saying is people can have different opinions and as long as you're not trying to hurt each other you can peacefully coexist it's 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 okay and and uh, yeah that's an interesting one about acceptance you know that is kind of if you boil it down you know the the worst thing for a human you know if you look at chim- chimpanzees you know social exclusion oh yeah it's like the worst thing ever yeah. so we're all searching for acceptance yeah so but the chimpanzees thing, as thing well that, while, the while thing that will the being. thing that will set you free <laughs> right is not giving a shit about acceptance it's just accepting yes. yourself and not caring about other people yeah that takes accepting. a long time to get yeah. there though some people never do yeah yeah and uh, there's a, uh, a, a amazing documentary uh, about chimpanzees on netflix about um you know um um, uh, alpha male chimpanzees his empire the women how they procreate how they guard their territories yeah it's really interesting some of them are outcast and uh, don't survive long yeah and this this one chimp um he's he's living outside the society and then he tries to go back and uh, grooms um 
one other champ and he hopes that the other champ is gonna return the favor and accept him so it's uh, it's a very 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 yeah nice yeah no it, 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 human yeah no it, it is i mean we we are very especially when we're, we're in a big group uh, of friends it, it can be very you know and there's 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 kind of all these little unseen little rivalries comp rivalries competitivenesses little jealousies and um you know uh, some people are more confident than others and uh, like a little comment ca can be uh, like the verbal equivalent of a slap and can shut down people and but like jack said there are other people who kind of just are innately don't aren't that fucking bothered by what you think of me mm. and they're the kind of people who are quite attractive i mean a feature of being Irish is, is is being quite insecure actually revealed in shows like the Late Late fucking show where any time a big celebrity comes on and, and is your mother or is your grandmother Irish I always find that you know because they're somehow we haven't achieved success ourselves so we somehow vicariously try to achieve it through others but then so what that's who we fucking are we're, so we're a bit insecure and there's a reason for it and it's still it passes from generation to it's generation it's endearing you know it it's good it, for it, tourism also, yeah. there is a lot of successful Irish people yes thank you so you know thank you should be proud and thank if you, you look at the wider Irish people like uh, Irish in America who are Irish American now they're very successful and the I don't Kennedys. like seeing, and I don't like yes. seeing the, all these people kicking off about uh, people from other countries you know needing places to stay and and objecting to it like I mean we, are we have we got a very very uh, selective memory in this country i mean my god like ireland was a great place to live but it was a, it was an even better place to leave because there was nowhere there was nothing fucking here and everybody like all, any corner of the world there's going to be irish mm. people here and you know like a fairly like uh, and uh, you know it, what really enhances this society is people from different countries and and i love it and then you know some people coming over they need a place they, people who come from other countries to Ireland mm. they want to work they're not living off the fucking the state pro the problem and if they are it's because they're not allowed to work until they get their leave to remain I think but I just yeah, really, the, 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 the problem is the government brings people over and they don't have the necessary uh, places to house people they don't they don't have the infrastructure but if they'd allow them to work yeah, straight well, away, that's that's the problem. They don't allow them to yeah. work. Yeah, and, but and, I mean, and, and, and uh, uh, the the people from uh, not from Ukraine. It just, it just yeah, but Ukraine, it just makes me feel sad to see. Allowed. It makes me feel sad to see Irish people, um, you know, uh, protesting about like n not mm. that many people living in a. In but, a house the, or whatever, the, the, I, I, the people I, protesting are feel disenfranchised as well. They feel left behind by the government. Yeah. They feel that. The government cares more about these people than, okay, can than I their, well, own, that, their own people. Well, and, and, well, that, uh, that and, is, that, and maybe that's not right, but you have to take into okay, consideration. Okay, well, well, let me tell you something. To those voices. people who feel disenfranchised or feel the government have left you, they have. Okay? And, you know, whatever, in, like, c uh, get in touch with the intelligent genius section of your brain and try very fucking hard to create wealth if you can, if you're not disabled or if, you know, there's not mental issues. Um, because don't rely yes. on the fucking don't government. Rely that's, on that's, government. True, that's true. You know, yeah. just forget about it. But, like, you know, we really. Um, it might be a bit of a shock to, for somebody in some uh, rural community to see people from other countries wanting to live there, but you, they should be welcomed with open arms because they'll do you fucking proud and they'll work their bollocks yeah. off, and just like we did when we went abroad, and we got we we achieved very high offices very quickly. So uh, like, and it just because because growing up like back in the seventies and eighties, it it was quite. <laughs> Boring, mm. but it was a good place to grow up as well. I mean, Ireland is beautiful, it's so, especially summertime. It's it sort of wakens up. It's like the countryside just yeah. has a big fucking slow orgasm for two months. But I, I just want to say that it's just a small amount of Irish people. In general, Irish people are very welcoming. Yes. So and uh, you just and that's and, and, and Jack's that's right. And and when that's the, it, that's such a good point. It's funny, it only takes a small percentage of people to change the direction of everything. Like if, if you get a band of people, like three, 
and you're really angry and you you know and it really it's like a confidence trick it it makes people think oh god there's this big huge I'm, mm. and and people are afraid to stand up because they think there's so many people against them but but also, but, but, know, but it's not it but, but by the way people when they're angry and they're freaked out don't be tricked into believing that they have some big overarching intelligence behind them mm. they can be just they can be wrong but it does it does um make people compliant and and, mm. and scare people it scares me yeah. sometimes but I, I think you know that there'd be a lot of time they'd be magnified by media because media yeah. like the conflict so maybe and also a lot of time maybe they just need to be talked to they just need to be explain things yeah. and and they, also they sorry and it, it is a free society and people are allowed to fucking protest yeah, and do what and they, they want and a they, sign of a free society yeah. is exactly that so in a way it's a sign of health and, and whether yes. whether or not you agree with what people are protesting about you should yes. always support it because if we're not allowed to protest yes. Yes. we're not allowed to express ourselves then we won't have a say in anything. Yes. Hallelujah, brother. Yes, yes, we want to protest. Yeah, definitely. Doesn't, yeah, that's right. And, and, th- and that's that's what that's talk. what's very that's what that's when I think that's society democracy. is very advanced. And I, I did like that about Speaker's Corner. I know Jack love going to Speaker's Corner <laughs> and seeing the wildest shit coming out of people's mouths. Mm. But, but it was it was words, and nobody was trying to hurt anyone. I mean, the things that they were saying. If, they, if these people did have power and did try to implement some of these theories and whatever. You know, there'll be you know major uh, violence happening, but it was just in it, it just stayed within that words and ideas, and people were expressing their opinions, and they were insane some of them, and then you'd go to the next guy or woman, and she or he would say something crazy, but nobody was fighting, and it what to me it it was, it was like a, a very advanced form of free speech, and and um, even though. Some of the stuff is was genuinely disgusting, but Speaker's Corner it's a pretty special place. Yes. Why you? Why you? Why you've got a, a grin on your face, Jack? Well, I remember uh, it was. I think it was a, a a Muslim guy and a Christian guy. They were in Speaker's Corner, and they were <laughs> they were just there. Uh, arguing about addition and subtraction and division and multiplication <laughs> oh, it's so, so saying who who fa- who originated it i don't know and he, he goes what's one plus one plus one and he goes it's three right what's one times one times one and he goes it's three it's like look he doesn't know how to do multiplication blah, blah, blah. he's like what are you talking about brother and he's going it's, and it's like you my friend are confused.com <laughs> <laughs> What is one multiplied by one multiplied by one? One. 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 Yeah, I know. I knew that. <laughs> no, you didn't. You you didn't know. <laughs> I did. I What's a look? I'll do an algebra, right? Yeah. X X minus Y. Yes. Plus two. Yes. Equals. What? I don't know. You exactly. So equation. so you know. Okay, Daniel. It's funny. Jack, do you have any other comments? Let's finish. Yeah, look at that one. What? Oh yeah, uh, it's um, from from the le- what, what episode is this from? Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. It's shrooms wine. <laughs> uh, shrooms wine. Hannah's gonna be hashed out of it next episode. <laughs> That's from <laughs> Grandmaster <laughs> Funk. <laughs> oh. Oh, because as a result of uh, finding out the revelation that Hannah had done, had microdosed. Mm-hmm. I might do it again. Yeah, well, Next that's be, and keep, you know, and we'll let but us know. Keep but, it sick, but also, sick. also, can I just say, you see, this is another thing about drugs and uh, microdosing. Yeah, don't do drugs. No, no, just hang it's on a second. Too expensive. <laughs> so if they were cheaper. <laughs> okay, okay. So listen. Um, <laughs> the point is, oh, I heard that joke before. The point Me is, too. the point is right um, that. You see, this is the thing. You look up to somebody or you know someone and they're telling you, oh, I had a fucking great night last night. I was doing fucking, you know, coke and all that shit, no. right? Well, some people can handle certain types of drugs for whatever reason. They have a very special, rare chemical makeup. Mm. But but that if you gave the same type of drug to someone else, they'll have a fucking panic attack and almost die. So, okay, you're young. You want to try it. Uh, it's risky, though, so um, I, I wouldn't say that, uh, you know, it's for everyone. Definitely. So, so you know right. what I mean? Like, I, I'm just saying with her micro with Hannah's microdosing, Jack Daniel, I wouldn't go near fucking no, microdosing. No. Look, um, and, and you I'm know, and, and what's so wrong with being s- yourself? 
It's the best. Is it disgusting? Thing. No, it's oh, it seems the best. to be. Oh, your man's on his own. Oh Jesus, he's on his own. Yeah, some people like their own company. Yes, and some and people also, can't handle other people. They find them annoying, Hannah. I mm. I was in a pub right, and um, uh, me and Tony we were after work. We we went to the the pub. It was Donny Donny and Esbitz actually. That's got a comedy club now, doesn't it? Oh God, yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, but we were. I I went to the outs. Are you not I went. Welcome there. No, 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 no. I actually the guy who runs it is a really good bloke. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you are welcome. So you like the place and you like the. Could guy. you speak into the fucking microphone? Are you not aware? Did you Did you not hear me, Jack? Did no, you hear me? Yeah, but you're you you know. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, maybe I don't need to scream. Okay. You by the way, by the way, the same the last podcast we saw. <laughs> you know, to uh, Gary Light. You were every. T- five seconds you were telling him to speak to the microphone well look you know if you bought the microphone maybe and you he's care an more. actor he's an actor yeah he's you're... a professional actor and that's why we're not together <laughs> microphone technique what were you going to say guys i forget, I forget now I oh hey do you know what i was just thinking i, I no, should you I, I, I remember wait a second you were in the pub with oh Tony yeah yeah Nesbitt yeah because we we're about being on your own and stuff so i i went into the outside area and tony was coming in after me a few minutes later with some guys from i don't know there's some gaa match on or something who's like jez that's some header here you got there though and i was like all right go on yeah well i forget what i said you know he's like oh thanks for that he's like i wasn't complimenting you and i was like well i'm not you know <laughs> and, uh, and then uh you know his friend there's a couple of girls with him and they were like oh no leave him alone leave him alone i was like honestly i couldn't care less you know and then she comes up are you on your own <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, no, but uh, if I was, yeah, I'd you know, be grand it, either way. But it, you but, should have said, give me a hug. No, but, it, no, but it's that kind of aggressive friendliness. You know, mm. sometimes some guy will take a fucking shot. You know, I know that kind of, I was only fucking talking to him like. No, but, that, but then he was going, I, I, I was only joking. Like, I'm only, I'm, I, yeah, I, I don't, don't take it badly. Just, and be, I was just like, be careful, guys. That's what I'm saying. Just just, yeah. uh, just try and disengage. Or just, no, no, just go, yeah, no problem. This and no sounds. Because people can tell if you're being sincere. So you want to avoid fights. Yeah, no problem. No, no, cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, no, I'll be back in a second. I just have to, you know, yeah. And then, uh, you know, because if, if, you know, it's almost people are just testing you to see. By the way, can I just say, right, uh, I just got a, a a text from Paul Chowdhury. Will I just call him up and see? Can, are we on the Bluetooth? Yeah, I'll, I'll put it up the Bluetooth there. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. yeah. Just here. Sister. Can you hello? Hey. Hello, sister. Uh, me, Hannah, Jack, and Daniel are doing the podcast now. Right? <laughs> is that a white P or an MP? Is that a white P or an MP? Meaning, is that your problem or my problem? But I'm just saying, uh, we just want to say hello to you for a few minutes. Just, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> say hello to Paul. Uh, hi, Paul. How are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How did your gig go last night? No, we want to know how is your relationship going. Oh yeah, how's your relationship going? With who? With who? With the girl. You've With... seen the last. I don't have a relationship. So. He doesn't no. have. I'm sitting on my own, fucking talking to you, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so what? What? what, what oh, I, so, I, so, I wouldn't pick up the phone. <laughs> you wouldn't pick up. That is true. Yeah, you, you wouldn't pick up the phone if you were getting some boom boom. I'm lonely. I've still got. So, phone so, so you did you drop like... her, or did she drop you? Well, wait a sec. That's quite a personal. Oh, a long story. This is a long story for a. This is a, firstly, you've just called me up on a podcast and asked me serious. Like, this is going to be a broadcast. Yes. The fuck? You supposed <laughs> to? I, I need to sign an NDA. Yeah, I need yeah. To sign an NDA. Yeah, non-disclosure. A non-disclosure agreement. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I what thought you were oh. more chilled out. I'm sorry. I should. He is more him. chilled out. He's I'm fine. Not- he said I'm, I'm not. not more chilled out. <laughs> I am not more chilled out. She's right. I'm not more chilled out. <laughs> and why have you called me on WhatsApp audio, sister? I don't know, sister, because I'm I'm on the blo- Oh yeah, can I just say so this is my can can I can we say that we're friends? No. <laughs> okay, so this is <laughs> semi friends, semi friends? An acquaintance. This is my acquaintance. this is an acquaintance and uh, Paul calls everyone sister. 
So then you have to call him sister back. And do you call women brother now? No. He never called me brother. No. No. And I call sister as well. Call sis sister sister. So are you, are you cooking something at the moment, Sister Paul? I'm trying to make my dinner, sister. <laughs> what are you having for dinner? Sister, is this how bad the podcast is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. You know it's... You know the podcast is in trouble when you got these questions. Well, you know, I'm trying. Yeah, because you know, uh, our, uh, yeah, it is true. Oh, you no, know, he's, no, he's were, fucking right. Were... No, he's fucking right. You, who gives a shit about what somebody's eating? I know, but I, I, I thought he might say something uh, entertaining. Whoa, Intra we called him up. We didn't invite Jesus Christ, Tony. You can't imagine. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that. I was really, I was really prepared. I was really prepared for this. <laughs> he did say something entertaining. Really, he's been, he's been, really, he's been he's making. He's a... usually very entertaining. He is very. He's, he's been not, making us laugh for the fucking two minutes. Okay. Jesus, do you want to undermine and sap somebody's no, confidence? No. No wonder you're single, you horrible woman. I'm so oh, sorry. I'm so hurt now. Again. I'm completely. You've completely finished me off now, sister. <laughs> I used to be a contender. I used to be somebody. Yeah, well, what... Well, what okay, the actually, club. how about this then? You know, look, you're a very attractive man. <laughs> Sorry. You're very... Are you talking to me or are you wife? Oh, very good. You're a very attractive young man. And, uh, you know, you would have lots of female attention being directed towards you. And uh, would you, you know, for for single guys out there, you know, would you have any kind of advice? Strong, you know, anything to no. What? Uh, what's the? You want me to give you advice how to get women? Yeah. <laughs> how to attract their attention? <laughs> oh Actually, God. yeah, Daniel. If, you, I, if I'm not getting. Yeah. It, oh yeah. If you're not getting girls, who the like? What? Am I going to get you girls if I'm not getting girls? Yeah. What about the uh, girl, me and Paul, were, uh, oh, that's were, right. were sparring? Oh, over. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have to tell the story, Jack. Go on, go, go on. on. So you're outside Top Secret and you're chatting to a girl. Yeah, yeah. She she, uh, she approached me at the bar. Right. And she said, oh, I love your accent. You know, right. all this. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> right, go was on. Was she from and London? Then, she's from London. She had like a, you know, she's like her background was uh, Southeast Asian, Indian Okay. Area. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Know so, it well. Know it well. What are you talking about? She was a sister. What are you talking about? What <laughs> you know, sticks, are you? sticks and stones, whatever. You know. <laughs> Southeast Asian. It's, yeah, she was. She was. Oh no, she was Persian. She was Persian. Yeah, Persian. Yeah, yeah. That's not Southeast Asian. Okay. Well, whatever. Whatever. Mesopotamia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> oh, he's slagging me off now because we're yeah, Irish yeah. and we eat potatoes. Okay. So, uh, and then. I was I was chatting to her and then she comes out or whatever and then I'm coming up the stairs and what do I see in top I, secret yeah I see Uncle Paul right chatting to her trying to trying to steal her from under me you know what oh, the fuck wow, wow, you, wow. Use, using the fact that he has a Tesla you know wow you know and all this but hey listen what do you mean he uses the fact how would he use I don't know I don't know but anyway it's he was a, it, it, it. It's, like it, Tesla. it's it's a cool it's a cool car and it would have worked on me so you know <laughs> yeah have you finished have you finished I finished, Paul. You you Have rebuttal. You, you rebuttal. Have you finished? Because you're about to get fucked up now. You, you know you just fucked yourself. You just fucked yourself. Let's see it. Let's see you it. Just, what you, you got? What you got? What you got? You just fucked yourself. Badly. That was not the story. That was not the story. What was the story? Lady. What was the story? Oh, okay, the let's story listen. Was to this. Yeah. yeah, go on. This 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 young lady. Easy. I talked to Jack, right? And then she did Jack. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she saw a real man. <laughs> oh, what was I talking to the baby for? Yeah. Why was I talking to this baby when I can talk to a real man? And, I, and then I, I, and then I gifted, I gifted the baby. I said, you know what? The baby's, the baby's going through a hard time. This is a gift from me. Right, yeah. So the baby started crying. When the baby saw that happen, they, what are you talking to my girlfriend? Like, what are you talking to my girlfriend? Like, all of a sudden, the baby thought it was his girlfriend. He just said oh. to it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Well, Jack, the that is... You've got that, attachment issues, sister. Yeah, you've got attachment issues. Yeah, Jack, that is a very different story than... than well, Paul's yeah, a liar. who knows? Paul's Paul a liar. story is real. You know, yeah, I think men, men are very delusional. And they see from their perspective and they tell them 
as they like it. Listen, we could agree to disagree, but you know, as I said, Paul, bros before hoes. And, Jesus uh, <laughs> Christ! Can we can we put that out on? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's bros fine. before. We won't be able to put that out. Just we get cancelled for that. What bros before hoes? <laughs> did, did you not yeah, understand? You get cancelled. I mean, for it's it's it's, it's tongue in cheek. Bros before women of admirable class. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! Do you not understand bros <laughs> before no. hoes, Hannah? No. What are hoes? Hoes. Uh, hoes. A hose, it's a hose to spray something. Yeah, that's right. Bros before hose to spray something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, like a hose, like a garden hose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bros before a hose. I no, hose is like whore. Bros, it's oh. like a slang for whore. I didn't know it. <laughs> but I didn't know it. It's a bros before a hose. <laughs> bros before a hose. So I did, uh, because like Paul, Paul would, Paul would like carry around a hose with him. And and come on, leave that hose. And then I, would, I would hose hose, hose women down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, how how have the gigs been going, Paul? Did you do a great gig last night? Were you magnificent? Uh, last night. Oh, I saw your friend down there, sister, actually. Who? There's this Irish comedian. I was talking to him about some guy. I can't remember his name. Oh yeah. Oh, John Caleri. John Cleese. Yeah. J no, John Caleri. Yeah. Yeah, he was on. Yeah, did you see him? Yeah. And? I didn't watch his act though, because I wasn't after him, so I didn't get to see him. But right, yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, very nice guy. Oh, that's great. I'm delighted John has finally uh, played. Was was Mark Rothman there? Did Was Mark happy? No, he went to, she, she went to a wedding, so she wasn't there. Oh, right, yeah. So um, she missed his act, but uh, apparently he did really well. Oh, great, 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 great. That's fucking, I'm delighted, yeah. We like John Cleary. We like John Cleary. Yeah. Oh, he's funny. And uh, she was opening for Tommy, Tommy Tiernan. She was opening for, wasn't she? Yeah, she's opening. She's opening for Tommy Tiernan. Um. Yeah. So you're just uh, chilling out and gonna watch a movie later on or something? Well, I just put uh, I just put a video up, didn't I? That one I just sent you about uh, Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, right. That's right. You just put a video up on your Insta. Yeah, because Jeremy Clarkson stole my joke and, and put it on the Sun column on Friday. Oh fuck! I, I just see it now. Okay, great. I'll I'll actually when I'm putting this up, I'll I'll include this uh, that video. Jeremy Clarkson writes for a very glamorous, prestigious newspaper known for its truths, The Sun. In The Sun, he published, and I quote: "The police question mark Don't get me started. If you get stabbed, they'll only be interested if it happens in a bus lane." That's a really funny joke, there, Jeremy Clarkson. I wonder where you got that idea from. Let's have a look at my joke from BBC's Live with the Apollo in 2012. Problems in this country. You get stabbed in this country, they won't find the killers. But if you drive down a bus lane, <laughs> they'll take a picture of you in the car and send you to your house within 48 hours. So if you get stabbed, make sure you get stabbed in a bus lane. Yeah, that's a conspiracy go, corner. It's not too. I'm taking legal action against the son and Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, just don't talk when I'm in the middle of a fucking sentence. <laughs> okay. That's my line. Yeah, that's your line. I did. I, 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 I not only stole it, but I didn't. It didn't work either. I fucked, I fucked myself. I fucked myself. Yeah. Um, well, listen, uh, Paul. And when do you think you can actually physically be here in Dublin? Uh, I'll just come over and do this podcast because how many listeners do you get on this? How many listeners? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's not... 10,000. Hannah says 10,000. Really? 10,000 people listen to this? Yeah. 10,000? Yeah, easily 10,000, yeah. Really? Yeah, but listen, Paul... It's doing all right then, sister. Uh, I don't know if we can slot him in, though. You know, we're yeah. pretty booked up. Yeah, yeah we're pretty yeah. booked up. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Uh, I don't think now we want him anymore. That's, you know, we <laughs> wait a little bit. Uh, I'm no, but, the biggest guest you've had yeah, for the whole season. I think, I think, I think uh, Paul is the biggest guest. We, we've had, I, I think people don't realize, actually, Paul is, is a huge uh, star over in the UK. He oh, sold he is, at um, yeah. um, the Wembley Arena, the first British Asian comic ever to do so, Jack. if I may say so. What's that, Hannah? What are you saying to? I just thought that. Oh, give yeah, do applause. Do the do sound applause. of applause for when I just. I'll just say it again. Hang on a second. Yeah. You ready, Jack? 
Okay, people might not realise this, but Paul mm -hmm. Chowdhury was the first British Asian comedian to sell out Wembley Arena. <laughs> no, Jack, you yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a revenge for that baby. What? That, that's, oh, he, that's revenge. Mr. That's revenge. Mr. Is that? <laughs> that was it, that was Jack. I'm gonna Jack. fuck you up, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, sister, that. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> that's um. So, that's, that's Gilbert Godfrey, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. Play that. So you've got Gilbert Godfrey's laugh. You've stolen Gilbert Godfrey's laugh yeah. and put it on the podcast. Yeah, put it on. Put it on again. <laughs> put on. Put on another laugh. I'll tell you. Go on, put on another. <laughs> that's Gilbert Godfrey's laugh when he was on the Howard Stern show. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I, I love it. I love you see, it. You see my knowledge? You see my knowledge on comedy? Yeah, I know. Well, you know, Howard Stern is one of the most popular uh, radio shows ever, for God's sake. You look a bit like Howard Stern's sister, you know? Yeah, you look about. You look a lot like my sister. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> well, yeah. what was in Howard Stern? You, like you were obsessed with Howard Stern. I was. Stern I was obsessed. Was up. Yeah. No. I, I'll tell you something, Paul. When I first went to New York in the late '80s, and I heard Howard Stern on the radio, my God, what a revelation! The way this guy talked, it was like nothing I'd ever heard. RTE, the local national thing here, it's all like. And later today, now we'll be talking about making fucking boxes with fucking you know whatever. <laughs> Bo really boring. Yeah. Yeah, Howard Stern was uh was kind of doing podcasting before there was podcasting. Yeah, yeah, he's the godfather of of uh, you know, that kind of Hannah's looking at me because uh, I, I've got a belly. Uh, actually Paul Chowdhury is very fit, very muscular. Goes to the gym every day. Hannah, what are you shaking your head? You'd be lucky if uh, Paul Chowdhury took you out on a date. Would you I take Paul Ch would you take uh, <laughs> Hannah out on a date, Paul? Paul, oh, it's okay. You can reject me. I would say no as well. Whoa! Oh my God. Well, the thing is, Jeez. because the thing is, I, I, I probably would go out and because then I could become the baby stepfather and I could be the shit out of him. <laughs> 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 shit, that's crazy. <laughs> you beat the shit out of Jack. No way. <laughs> come get some. Come get some. Oh shit. Oh, 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 listen. I, oh, listen. Jack is fierce. Jack is like <laughs> Borgia, you know? He would take a sword and put your head on a sword, no. you know? Oh, well, I'm fucked. I'll, I'll be his dad, though, see? I, I'd, I'd, be his, I'd, be his, I'd be his father, like in Star Wars, like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Can we just, oh can we just be okay, friendly? Okay, let's, let, let's, let's, hey, let's go to oh, dinner that's, as that's, friends. That's my son, oh. Daniel. Hey, how's it going? That's Daniel. Oh, that's the other baby. Yeah, yeah well... See, that's the nice baby. That's the nice baby. Bigger baby. <laughs> that's, that's the nice baby. So that baby's that baby's well behaved, this baby. Yeah? And yeah, by the yeah. way, speaking of babies, why don't you have any babies for Christ's sake? Doesn't your doesn't your lung doesn't your lung work? What do you call your penis and? Well, it's history. It works, but I'm, I need to find something to have a baby with. You've got so many women. You've got so many women. Uh, you know. Says, I uh, wish I had so many women. But he's a responsible person, so he wants to be a responsible father. So he wants to have a woman mm. who is the right for him, so he can have a family. Mm. Why doesn't he get a? Po <laughs> Why doesn't he get a Polish? Why doesn't he get a Polish woman? I don't know. He can get a Polish woman, Asian woman, African yeah, I might get... woman. Yeah. Yeah. I might get a Polish woman. Get get one down the shops, like. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What the what? fuck? This is a bit the racist. shops. Because your what? man was saying, get a woman, like, right? Like yeah, get one, like know. like purchase yeah. one down the shops. Jeez. Wait, how's that racist? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> what a. F it's not, it's not racist. It's not misogynist. And Jack. Is no, in not other words, he's saying Jack. like purchase a woman like yeah, you would a car. He said I get know, one. But like he. Was I know, but joking. I know he was joking. So was Paul. Exactly. So don't make it. Just don't. We're gonna don't. get cancelled now. Oh gee. No. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Bros before hoes. Jack is a gentle person. We have to fire he's... Jack. We fire him, Jack. Jack's off the show. Wait, Jack, Jack's gone. Jack is in the naughty corner. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my own podcast, and it's gonna be called "And We're Together." <laughs> what the hell? Are, what are hell, what are those sounds happening in that kitchen of yours, Paul? And by the way, like. Oh, 
Can I just say it's um now uh nine thirty. What are you saying? Time out, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Anna. Just taking a time. Anna's upset. Anna's upset because uh, this yeah, the, you rejected the podcast me, is on the verge of no, you it's rejected on the verge of cancellation. <laughs> it's on the verge of cancellation. I think we've got more I think we've got more problems in rejecting you. The guy's talking about buying women. <laughs> but you know, like I'm narcissistic. I'm just only obsessed about myself. Okay, Hannah. Yeah, don't worry. He doesn't. You're not worried about the sex trade and buying women and selling them on the streets of England. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But we in Ireland, so in Ireland, it doesn't happen. It's just too small. Okay. People are not. Uh, okay, Hannah. Uh, listen, uh, can I just say on behalf of Jack and Daniel, and uh, thank you for being so gracious. Thank you thank for you. thank you for answering the phone and um, you know and Jack, being being the biggest guest so far yes. on our little podcast, and that's why we're not together. The biggest, yeah. Just a call. Give it up for Paul Chowdhury. What were you going to say, Paul? Give Martin McDonald a call next. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. See if it, see if it, see if it picks up. Yeah, okay. Oh, mm, hurtful. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you. So- I'll, I'll talk to you. So- I'll talk to you soon, sister. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank right, you. Sister. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Why were you doing all that time out? No, because I thought it was going for too long. We need to get uh, Paul's laugh on the soundboard yeah, as you, well. You oh yes, yeah, yeah. you can't oh, say was that, was that recorded? Anymore. By the way, was that was that recorded? Did, we've we've recorded that. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I can yeah. isolate that sound. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Great, great, good idea. Because he's idea. got a good laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I, I just thought that you have to finish. You, you just were dragging okay, do, it. I know I was dragging. Uh, I, I think you have a problem with Paul Chowdhury. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Paul, who, who you, you do. No, yeah, no, you, I love Paul You're being Chowdhury. very. It's quite awesome that we, I, I love the way we can just call people up like that. It's pretty fucking awesome, yeah. isn't it? Hey, um, do we have anything for? Um, open the cage by the way yeah okay cool ladies and gentlemen i'm so excited genuinely just the accumulation of this beautiful trivia uh, it's becoming artistic please welcome one of my favorite sections open the cage news about nicholas cage daniel okay so um there was a time where fuck's sake uh nicholas cage could have starred in the godfather 3 okay as uh What's his name? Uh, Vincent Mancini, the lost son of James Caan. Oh, Sonny Corleone. Right, so yes. So instead yes. of Andy Garcia, it could have been Nicolas Cage. Okay, I think Nicolas Cage would have been brilliant in that role. Yes. It, it might have been, it might have worked, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, no. He's, uh, no, because I remember, you remember we saw that film Birdie, Matthew Modine, Nicolas Cage? Yes. Fucking brilliant. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, anybody, any of you young go getters, Birdie, is it called Birdie? Um, Jesus, Nicholas Cage. Is it called Birdie? Just, just two seconds. I think it is called Birdie, and it's such a good. It, it was one of those films. I used to love Matthew Modine. Yeah, I used to think that he was so sexy. I don't know. He lost. He lost it. Well, because like, oh, because he got older. That um, he was just so attractive. Birdie, nineteen eighty four. Yeah, okay, that's right. Birdie, 1984. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when he's in After the, two friends return in home... In the hospital. I'm in the, middle, I'm in the middle of a fucking sentence. I'm sorry. After two friends return home from the Vietnam War, <laughs> one becomes mentally uh, unstable and obsesses with becoming a bird. That's pretty much uh, a good description yeah, of the film. But, yeah. I mean, it's so uh, good. Very good. It's so very good. good. Amazing. Yeah, it's a great film. Great film. Classic. Uh, Raising Arizona is good as well. Yeah. Yes. Well, 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 well. Do you know some Daniel? That's very interesting because I think he would have uh, given a great turn in Godfather Three. Yeah, I think Andy it, Garcia. You know, yeah, he does the kind of you know I'm a crazy you know fucking I'll kill you know, at the drop of a hat. I think maybe. Uh, but it could it could have made the third one more memorable, like you know, like the whole movie. Like with, yeah, it's with a pity that yeah, I'm, I'm kind of maybe it'd be more grotesque. I'm I'm kind of sad that um, Nicolas Cage hasn't done more like really uh, serious weighty roles. I th- I think there was one recently called Pig or something. Yes, or, and he one? apparently he loves it the most. That's his favorite movie. Okay, I, again, a beautiful bit of fucking trivia with uh, Ma- with uh, Nicolas Cage. Love it. We're just we love it. We love we love tuning into Nicolas Cage. Hey. <laughs> Was that the applause? 
Okay, and too Jack, to, uh, Jack, yeah, Jack, Johnny on the spot. I mean, if this was a war situation, yeah, why you ask me to applause everything? Well, you're just sitting, Hannah, because you're just sitting there. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm what just, else are you going? It's your general. fucking job. It's I your job. Like, fucking don't job. be fucking telling okay, me to do yeah, do so stuff. Okay, I'll do it myself. Get few applause. Focus on yourself. Uh, okay, I, uh, Jack. <laughs> Do you have anything for cunts? Ah, fuck off. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> oh, yeah, Jack, check again. Because from, uh, from, from a different, from a different uh, a part of Dublin. So okay. All of uh, I'll tell you what the conspiracy is now. Ladies I'm and gentlemen. I'm going to do something. Conspiracy oh. Corner. Jack, what have you got today for Conspiracy Corner? Satanism in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Uh, so it all stems from uh, Martin Scorsese's *The Passion of Christ*. Um, it wasn't the depiction of Jesus Christ, so to speak. It was the uh, breaking, breaking his voice. Thank you. It was the um, go on, Jaina, Hannah, Jack. It was the you say Jaina, <laughs> Jaina. Okay, are we finished yet? <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Freudian slip? For f**k's sake. <coughs> okay. Jack, okay. spit it out for fuck's sake. Sorry. So, The Passion of Christ. Wasn't it Mel Gibson? Oh, Mel Christ, Gibson, here we go. I don't know. <laughs> Martin Scorsese. Yeah, it was Sa <laughs> Satan is Mel in Gibson. Hollywood. There's blood in the movie, you know. Go on. People in Hollywood, satanic cults. So you mean he was referring to satanic no. cults? Okay, so the Passion of Christ came out. It wasn't the depiction of Jesus Christ necessarily, not the fact that it, he was, his image was being showed, but it was the amount of gore, blood, gratuitous violence in the movie that, uh, were, you know, if you're in that kind of thing where you think satanism and Hollywood is a thing, where they're trying to spread the word of satan through gratuitous violence in movies so then it goes on to quentin tarantino movies and all this blah 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 you know did you understand what 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 was that i understand that uh, that they spreading the portray they spreading the blood gore guts all these kind of gratuitous violence in movies yes yeah. yeah. the the sexual yeah nature of movies the way it's been ramped up yeah you know especially the passion of christ mel gibson i've never seen it but apparently it's uh, uh, a lot the, of blood a lot of gore what's, what's this got to do with satanism in so sat so the satanism is all about uh you know yeah, blood, sacrifice, blood, blood, sacrifices, sacrifice. so gratuitous violence, the amount of blood and gore yeah. and guts. But what's it got to do with Satanism in Hollywood? Because it's a Hollywood fucking movie. Yeah, but it's it just gross. It's just like a trend. So it's they're saying that they it. made the movie to spread Satanism. Oh, Jesus Christ. David, just don't uh, I'm just, I'm wings. just trying to understand. I'm it not is a conspiracy, that's why. I'm not that's, clipping. You are clipping the wings no, I'm and you're getting bored. I don't I'm care. I don't care if he's... I wanted up. to hear what Jack was saying. I wanted to get him to the point. And the point but was... The way you're doing is you're clipping the wings. Hannah, he was, <laughs> saying, he was saying that so that a lot, there's a lot of violence and gore or whatever and uh, extreme violence. And so Jack is saying that this is a... That there's some underlying desire to spread this kind of horrendous yeah, it's behavior yes. in Hollywood or in the no, world. Th but I think that um, films reflect what's actually going on. I don't think it promotes uh, things like that. Yeah, and like also, fasting. any adult with, um, uh, you know, life experience and with who's, who's in any way well-adjusted kind of doesn't think, okay, I oh, know I'm going to look at that film caveat it's, it's there are not many well adjusted male but it's entertainment adults. it's entertainment oh, just like are... joe duffy going on about his empathy that's entertainment one man can't have that much empathy <laughs> yeah and then what happened day two like you know he's been doing it for 55 years yeah no he's it's really terrible. good at that yeah but it's entertainment mm. Do you think he gives a shit about any of the, the people that he talks to? Does that matter? He does. Does that matter? He's got you. you you're part of his cult. 
Satanist. He's a I, he's a Satanist. I, I want to know why there's so many Fast and Furious movies. Like oh, the Satanist. Oh yeah, there's the one Fast and Furious Ten. Yeah, the and apparently one. it's so ridiculous. But you know, it's something actually, Jack. Yeah, maybe maybe you know who knows? Because there's nothing as strange as people. Uh, you know, like you remember, like a few a year ago, somebody shaved the, Felix the cat. So if people can do that kind of stuff, you never know. Maybe there are some actual Satanists who want to kind of create an environment where it's more acceptable to do weird shit and sacrifice people. But, you know, like, uh, thank God they're in a very small minority and they ha don't have, I don't know, they don't, they're over there. <laughs> in the cave, buried underground. Okay, guys, um, guys, all right, guys. Well, listen, we've had a, you know, it's, it's we've had our ups and downs here today. We've had some disagreements, but even I feel I've been targeted. Paul. Yeah. My mother, my father, you know, no, Daniel's Jack Daniel's my brother. My real brother is the only one who's got my back. So, Jack, I, I tell thank you, you, I, thank I, you I, 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 I genuinely I love conspiracy. <laughs> I genuinely love conspiracy corner. My just head couldn't get around. And also I was distracted and thinking about other things, but my head couldn't get around what what uh films had to do with satanism I, I, in hollywood i was wondering they just are, they, it's, it's are they reflecting it or is there a group reflecting of people and promo or is, promoting. are there are there a group of people who are satan worshippers and who are in a position where they run studios and something like that but i mean you know what they were they depicting anti-christian values is satanism a good is, like for, for yeah, the, yeah, for see, the did you hear daniel yeah they depicting they're depicting anti-christian values okay. and that sort of spreads oh, it's too much for my head other people can make sense <laughs> of this <laughs> okay okay i think we need to finish thank you D thank you my princess jack and daniel thank you hannah thank you and uh, we'll see you all again next tuesday <laughs> <laughs>